Today, we are going to learn what exactly DAX or data analysis expressions are in just 10 minutes. And we are not just going to talk in theoretical dilemma, we are actually going to open Power BI and see how we can perform DAX operations to get insights out of our data quickly. So, without wasting any time, let me open Power BI and get started with today's agenda. First, let's take a look at our data set. We have a simple sales data which includes the following columns date, product, sales, amount, quantity, and region. We'll use this data for creating some more interesting measures and visualizations. Uh, let's start by loading our data into Power BI. And first, open the Power BI desktop. Let's start by loading our data into Power BI. Click on the Get Data in the panel above and load the data set as we discussed right now. And you can select the number of sheets you want to load into the Power BI to get your insights. And this is the data you can review before loading it. And you have the three options below, load and transform data. Load the data. But once the data is loaded, you should see in the right side of your panel, all the fields are placed nicely. And here is the sales of our data sales and the columns right here. And now our data is loaded successfully. So we can start with the basic measures by using very quick first measure. You can calculate this total sales and I'm gonna create the new measure. So click on the new measure and calculate the total sales. So you're gonna get the formula bar which pops up right over here after clicking the new measure. So here it goes. So this is a formula of the total sales. So this is equal to the sum and the sales is a table and the sales amount is a column name and this is a parameter. And here the measure we simply sums up the total amount column. So now, Click on the enter or the commit to get the results. So you have successfully, the field is added to the right side of your panel. Here you go. You can see it on the right panel side, the field name called total sales. And similarly, you can also sum up the other, other functions by using such as min, max, average, and other, other functions. To visualize it more in, insightful, you can use the built-in visuals right over here. So I'm gonna choose the table, very basic one. So I'm gonna click on the measures. The first measure is a total sales. You can just drag it and drop it over the table in the way I'm showing here. So easy, right? So here you go, guys. You can see the total sales and the result is 2,500 in results. In this way, you can create the basic measures. And so the basic measures such as the advanced measures too. Okay, next let's create and calculate the total quantity. We enter the formula in the same way as we have done earlier. I'm gonna click on the new measure and as it is, you're gonna get the measure column and enter your formula right over here. You can see the formula, total quantity is equal to sum as sales and the quantity is a parameter as we discussed, it's a column. I'm gonna commit again. So we're gonna get the results. Yeah, it's loading. In the right side of the panel, you can see the measure is created again. So make sure your fields are right in the right side panel. You can build any of the visuals. Uh, take it up right here. I'm going to take the matrix again, just like a previous one. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it over right here. See? So here's the total quantity again. And we're going to use the gauge also. And we have so many visuals right here. This sums up the total quantity column, the gauge one. So let's create the next further we can use for the advanced measures. So the average sales per day, we can create the average to calculate the average sales per day. So we can divide this total sales by the days, number of days in the data sets. So here, so I'm gonna click on new measure again. Similarly, the formula bar pops up. I'm gonna put the formula. So here it goes, as we discussed, average sales per day. Total sales is divided by the number of days in our sales data. So it's loading, we're gonna get our results. So here you can see as it is, the field is created at your right side panel. So this is the average sales per day. And I'm gonna visualize it through the method, column method. Just drag it and drop it. You can use the other regions yeah, you, get, you can get the average sales by regions. 
as you can look here. I'm going to use cluster again and also the same way the average sales you can see the result again. The pro I'm adding the product also. You have got the results right? So in such way you can create with amazing visualizations where it will be very easy to report. This measure divides the total sales uh, as we said over the distant count again by giving us our average sales per day and next we can go to the uh, calculating the sales growth so you can know the growth of the sales from the previous month or the number so whatever they have uh, might be a year also and I'm going to take the previous month let's calculate our sales growth we can use a formula such as again you can choose a new measure again it's a bit slow it's a formula bar pop, popped up and I'm putting the formula here this is a formula you might get in a three lines so this compares the sales to the previous month with the total sales so it's a minus one and it returns to the total sales of the previous sales I'm gonna slash with a name as a previous sales I'm gonna enter uh, the commit to get the results here you can see the measure is created to have a uh, sales growth now you can use any of the graph bar or the line graph line graph all the visualization to have a great insights so I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna drop it so here is the sales growth as we said it, it is comparing the sales current day to the previous month so all right now we can have our measures so let's create some of the visualizations to, the, to have a more insights in a same way you can you can use the different visualization tools on the right side of your panel the total sales growth average sales per day and also you can add the slicer so that you can have an report for each product in a particular regions also yeah here it goes so this gives you an actionable insights if I show you you can see the reports that are changed here in a dynamic way it gives you with a very amazing visualizations I've also created the other visualizations right here um, so it's based on the number of measures we have done right here so these are the major and the minor measures where you can use and make the reports with more amazing visualizations with the dynamic insights again so this uh, you have successfully loaded the data and created more measures right here that's all for it and here you have it we have successfully loaded data created measures using dax and visualized our insights in power bi if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our intellipad channel for more content like this thanks for watching and see you next time